उत्तमे श्री गुरुवे नम नमो विष्णु पादाय गौरप्रस्थाय भूतले श्रीमद भक्ति प्रमोदाय गुरी गोस्वामी नाम अजानलंबित भुजो कनकावला तो संकीर्तन पितरो कमलाय काक्ष विश्वमरो दिवरो युग धर्म पाल वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणा अवतारो मुकम करोति वाचालम भंगम लंगयते गिरिम यत् कृपा तव वंदे परमानंद मालो नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चेव नरोत्तम देवी सत्यम व्यास तो जय मुदीर तो आई विश ऑफर माय प्रोस्ट्रेट ऑफिसस टू माय स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर हु इज अ बीकन ऑफ लाइट फॉर अ फॉलन कंडीशन एंड स्ट्रगलिंग सोल लाइक मी नेक्स्ट आई विश टू गिव माय प्रोस्ट्रेट ऑफिसस ऑफिसस टू ओम विष्णु पाद शिला भक्ति निरंतर नारायण महाराज ऑन द इवेंट ऑफ हिज मोस्ट होली अभिभाव तिथि अपीयरेंस डे in fact i am actually benefited because a condition so many wants to improve in spiritual life then this is the best cause why right? today actually the day is very auspicious this day is the solar eclipse previously krishna during this time prabha shetra he also coming he did lot he as an acharya he also did some activities it is this day is very auspicious for spiritual activities Shrimad Mahaprabhu was born on lunar eclipse, so this eclipse, Grahana, is a very auspicious day for spiritual activities, and so the tithi is very nice, auspicious. And what could be more better? In Maitreya, when Vidura Samvar in Shrimad Bhagavatam, when Maitreya, when Vidura means Maitreya Rishi, he says this sloka: "Sutasya pum samsuji shamasya nan manjaso sudhi vidhu itto artha." वैष्णव So it is in this day, day. I also say, uh, as a fallen kind of soul, that when you have a chance to glorify Vaishnavas, then today my spiritual life is progressing a little. <coughs> so the question of Vyasa, Vyasa compiled all our scriptures, the 18 Puranas, the Itihasas, Mahabharata, Ramayana was compiled by this great Rishi, incarnation of Sri Krishna, Krishna Dwaypana, Vyas Veda Vyas. So Veda Vyas, he gave a very beautiful slow, which shows what is the qualification of Veda Vyas. In the second Mangala Charan of Shri Mad Bhagavatam, Dharma Prajita Gaitu Atra Parama Nirman Saranam Sada Vedya Vastu Atru Atra Vastu Shivam Tat Tamat Prayan Molanam. He says Vedya Vastu Vastu Atra Shivam. This Vastu Atru Vastu, this actual thing, is the Shri Mad Bhagavatam. What is he teaching? It was the Shri Mad Bhagavatam. It relates to the If you be able to uh, free yourself from all sorts of tapa try, my miseries of the material world, just by taking shelter of Shrimad Bhagavatam. What does Shrimad Bhagavatam teach? It teaches shuddha bhakti, pure devotion. So this is the question. Where vastu vastu means pure devotion, not like what the other acharyas they are teaching. That is not what Sri Vyasa Dev meant. So we cannot call them Vyasa Dev. So the Vyasa Dev means one who is teaching pure devotion. Then he is actually doing fulfilling the preceptory line of succession. Because our succession, actually, what Veda Vyasa meant was was the Veda was this pure devotion. So this is Vyasa Dev. So I am actually a benefited by being able to glorify one who is in. Teaching about pure devotion, which is very rare in this material world nowadays, starting with this Hari Nam Mahamantra, spread by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who came five hundred years ago, and said that the starting of teaching holy to Shuddha Bhakti means starting with this chanting of this Hari Krishna Mantra. Guru Tattva is a very wide, complex uh, topic. I am also very unqualified to speak so much. It's very deep, Guru Tattva. But I can, in this short time, maybe I can speak a little. Uh, because most of you, there are some people who are abroad. I think they are very, they don't very shallow the idea what is guru. So actually, shastra says guru actual meaning of guru. Achinoti yad shastra atram achare stapiti api yad swayam achare te yasma acharya te na gipti ta. The acharya he practices what he preaches. It is very this shastric conclusions. The word is very difficult. So the acharya, he's practicing, stopping there, he establishes principles of religion like Krishna.
Krishna. Krishna was telling him, Yada yada galari bauti baharaka chukta na wadar, he came and established. So Acharya in the line of Sri Krishna, he comes to establish devotional principles, just like Mahaprabhu, Acharya. So all the Acharyas in the line of Mahaprabhu, they come, they stapi di api, they establish by their own swayam Acharya, they uh, they achieve by their own exemplary behavior. They propagate this tatwa to the masses, to the conditioned souls like us. So we study by this uh, behavior of acharyas. The behavior, the, the this is very important. This sloka and that is signifies guru. That means he knows Krishna tatwa. There are so many things. There is a wide range of confusion now. What to do? What not to do? Kavyo piyatra mohita. This Sri Krishna tatwa. Even Vyasa, even a. Uh, Brahma was bewildered many times. It says, Brahma was bewildered. So how to understand this, this, this Shuddha Bhakti? Only by taking shelter of the preceptor line in the line of Mahaprabhu and preaching this, this is actually possible. So this is our Guru. I will define Guru in this way. One who is teaching Krishna Tattva according to pure devotion by according to this line of Srimad Shishiman Mahaprabhu. In Srimad Bhagavatam, this is our evidence of Guru. There are so many. But I am not, not such a pundit. My Gurudev used to speak so many slokas on this. I, I don't remember, but I know, I know. He used to, favorite sloka of his, he will always say. He said, do you know? He used to tell me. He said, Vedas, Garbo Suti, the Vedas are chanting. When Sri Vishnu wakes up, when Sri Vishnu wakes up, uh, the creation, when he wakes up, then the Vedas go and glorify him. Prenefix, they do eulogies to Sri Vishnu. At that time, there is one, one wonderful sloak to the Guru Dev to say, Vijita Hishika Vayu, ah, Manas Idanta Manas Turagam, Yatantum Yatum Atilol Opayakidha. It starts like Vijita, Vijita Hishika Vayu. This, the, the yogis are trying to control their mind, which is like the air, Vayu. Manas Turagam. It's difficult to control the mind. And Yatati Yatum Atita Atilol Opayakidha. They all they are, they are attempts. Of fear, they fear their attempts. Then Bhukshi, actually, I'm not Pandit, but I'll just give the, 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 the synopsis of the sloka. So Guru Dev is like this, we, the Jiva, is completely people in this material world. Sometimes we don't know what to do. We are wandering around, our mind is leading us. Take this, take that, go there, go here. We are completely lost. So what to do? So the spirit, so the, so the Bhagavatam compares the, the spirit soul to a uh, we are sitting in the boat of this body. And if the boat goes and is tossed by the waves, then you cannot reach the destination. There is no way. The most is your boat will capsize. You will drown in this ocean of transmigration. So what do we need? Guruna Guru Karna Dharam. Then the Guru comes. He is the captain. He is, has the compass. And with the compass he says, you go this way. Come follow me. Go this way. And then we follow. We follow obediently. And then there is a chance. Then we can conquer this, this, this summonable, yeah, insummonable mind. It's very difficult to control the mind. Why are you to scrub? So if you follow Guru, this is my experience. Then if you follow Guru, then the mind is more, it is more easier to aim because by his mercy. So this is a great opportunity. Vijita Hishaka Vayu. So this Shastra says that we follow Guru. We follow uh, the Guru, he has a compass, then we can reach the destination. And then there's this, there are many slogans like this. Then another sloka he says by the uh, Navigata Rishi, he speaks to uh, King Nimi, the nine Rishis. He says, Nirdeham Adyam Sulabam Sudurabam Plavam Susukalpam Guru Karna Dharam Mayanukula Namastaviritam Pumsam Bhavatim Nath Tare Sa Atmaha. So in this sloka, he says, this human life, this human body is so difficult to get. It's more rare. Sulabam Sudurabam. And it's even more difficult to get a guru, to get the lotus feet of a guru who is a Vaishnava, a Sadguru, uh, who is teaching pure devotion. Very rare. Sulavam, Sulavam. Guru Karna Dharam. Uh, so, Mayanukula. So, if you want to cross, we get the mercy of Sri Guru, then the favorable wind of uh, Lord, Mayanukula. Krishna says, Krishna is speaking. My Anukul Vayu. I will take you. My the favorable wind given by Sri Krishna will, by the grace of Guru, you will be able to cross over the shop. Uh, now, so if you do not get this uh, favorable thing, you, you to get the grace of Krishna ultimately means we have to get the grace of Sri Guru. Uh, 
So anyway, there's a lot of things to speak. I'm actually very fortunate and grateful to Om Vishnu Parshwar Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj. So give me a chance to glorify him on his Arubhav Tinti. This is very, I'm so fortunate today that I can, I wish he will uh, bless her fallen condition. This one is struggling and for trying to get devotion.
तार मध्य मुख्य वांचा कई तब प्रधान जहाँ इतने कृष्ण भक्ति होय अंतर ध्यान तो दिस इज़ दी कई तब धर्म एंड गेट इस चीटिंग इफ फॉर दैट बाय दैट ऑल द कृष्ण भक्ति बी डिस्ट्रॉयड फॉरेवर तो गुरु वर डच अज्ञान तिमिरंद से ज्ञानम जन सड़ा किया बाय गिविंग दी ट्रांसेंडेंटल नॉलेज इट डिस्पेल्स दी डार्कनेस ऑफ इग्नोरेंस फ्रॉम दी हार्ट ऑफ डिसाइफ तो गुरु इज लाइक the manifestation of like we heard bias dev the bias dev what he did so many explanations from of the bias dev which incarnation of krishna who manifested krishna in the form of vedic literature in this world so without guru nobody can manifest krishna tatva gyan in the heart of disciple this is the work of uh, function of guru dev उन्हें चैतन्य चरितामृत तथा कृष्ण कविराज दोस्तों में describing as our previous speakers to explain गुरु कृष्ण रूपन शास्त्र प्रमाण है गुरु रूपे कृष्ण कृपा करें भक्तगण तो गुरु कृष्ण has given all the responsibility to श्री गुरुदेव to shower mercy on us if a living गुरुदेव will try to get mercy from somewhere else it's not possible Only through Guru Dev we can get all the mercy of Krishna. Guru Dev is Krishna Kripa Sri Murthy, the embodiment of all the mercy potency of Krishna. Krishna's mercy potency takes a form that is Sri Guru Dev, and he also Chaitanya Prakash. Jadde bhi Amar Guru Chaitanya Das, tatha bhi jani ami tahar Prakash. The Guru Dev is not ordinary. Do is tells that we are servant of. Chaitanya Lord Chaitanya Radha Krishna, but in the expansion of also Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Krishna is coming as Goswami explaining why in the invocation slogan, Anantha Charin Chidat is explaining how the pure and sinful Radhiti is Kadam was Sandhi Pita. Sada Hridaya Kandara Spruti was Sachinanda. Is praying Lord Chaitanya, ah Sachinanda be manifest in the heart as Hari. Giving some explanation meaning of Hari. One explanation is giving Hari means the lion. When a lion comes to a a student uh, cave in the forest, there are many many dangerous creatures living: snakes, tigers, bears, so many dangerous animals residing in a cave. If lion approaches there by hearing the roaring of lion, even elephant, all the animals they Go away. At once, run away. Similarly, if we pray, the Guru will be manifest in our heart. Then all the unearthed, dangerous animals, all will go away. Like another explanation, many is given that Hari, who can steal away our all type of unearthed, Guru can do all this in Dipya Gyanam Jato Dadya Kurjat Paapas Sankhya. All the unearthed, everything impious things, all will Guru will steal away. What to speak of Guru? They will steal away. We see Narendra Thakur is praying that jahar nikade gele paap dure jaan. Even by approaching nearby Guru, such a great Vaishnav, dear devotee of Krishna, all the sinful reactions, all the sin itself goes away and automatically purified by seeing vidarshan, darshan pavitra kara etumar hum. This quality is so great. Even by darshan, by having darshan of Guru Dev, all the unearthed, all the sinful actions, everything, all the impurities goes away from the heart. Another meaning of Hari is given that who can steal away our mind and heart by giving love? Who did this? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did this. And Guru is not different from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Is the prakash of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He manifests through Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He can give. Krishna giving his love, ah, pure love, pure affection, giving our heart and mind everything he takes away. If you see this, anybody came in contact of Guru Dev, his mind and heart completely stolen by Guru Dev. This is only Chaitanya Mahaprabhu can do it, and his God Priyajan, very dear associate can do it. Nobody else can do this. This is giving pure love. This is function of Hari. साक्षात हरि तेन समस्त शास्त्रे उत्तस्तता भाव्यत एव साध्वि दैट्स व्हाई विष्णु सतु ठाकुर इज फेमस गुरुवास्तक इज एक्सप्लेनिंग साक्षात हरि इज हरि हिमसेल्फ बिकॉज़ इट डज द फंक्शन ऑफ हरि इज वेरी वेरी डियर टू 
Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, very, very dear to Krishna. Today, in Tanaratana Thakur also explaining his famous Guru Mahima, Sri Guru Charana Padma Kevala Bhakati Sadhana. That the Guru Charana Padma, the lotus feet of Gurudev, uh, is the only center of Kevala Bhakti. Kevala Bhakti means the pure devotion, which is explained to under before that Sanya Dasta Sunyam Jnana Karmadi Anapratha. There are many types of devotion. But Kevala Bhakti is very, very rare to achieve. Overly available only by the, at the feet of Srila Gurudev. And Prema Bhakti Jahanaite Avidya Vinas Jati. Sri Guru Karuna Sindhu Adhama Janair Bandhu. The Gurudev is the ocean of mercy. And the Adhama Janair Bandhu is the friend of very, very fallen souls. Why? Because even Gurudev is giving mercy, we have no place to keep. But Gurudev even prepares that pot, prepares our heart and gives the mercy. The very, very fallen soul that only shelter is the Gurudev. Without Gurudev, is no uh, chance we can get Krishna Bhakti in this life. So, go to Pemanandi. So I'm completely unqualified to stand here and speak. I'm full of faults and I'm nothing but a neophyte devotee, uh, an upstart. But I feel greatly privileged to, to be here in the first place and to be invited to stand and speak for, for the pleasure of Gurudev and devotees. Because this is very unusual to be here. Uh, here we are in these very beautiful surroundings, in an ideal place, and how this happened, it's like a miracle. No one can understand how we all came here and how this festival manifested. It's just like a miracle. So, ever since I came in contact with, with Gurudev in 2000, um, my life has been just a, a chain of uh, miracles of things that weren't supposed to happen, but did happen. So Gurudev has given us so much, has given me personally so much, I don't know where to begin and where to end. First of all, he has given us the, the, the purest form of, of bhakti, the purest, the highest form of love, which is the gopi bhakti, the love, the, the completely self selfless love of the gopis for Krishna, especially Manjari bhakti, the love of the young Gopis for Shimati Radhika and Krishna. So I, I would never have heard of this if I didn't come to Gurudev. So he's giving us the, the highest, he's telling us this is our goal. And it is so far and so unlikely, so so not part of, of my reality, my immediate reality. Yet Shiva Gurudev so kindly he has made it somewhat accessible for us by manifesting the Seva Kunj deities. Through the through the agency of uh, Shimati Shyamarani Didi, and when I look at this picture, it just transports me. You know, something there. You know, I I I think oh, this is for real. You know, and then he has given us I don't know what to say so many things. He has given us this sangha. He always says we have to be like a family. So many times he said, don't, don't quarrel and don't fight and don't argue. Just, you know, just be tolerant and be humble 
never criticize, never complain, and always chant Hare Krishna. Such beautiful instructions. So he says we have to be like a family. That the, the only reason I brought you together is that you cooperate like a family. He doesn't tell us that you love each other like a family, you know, because he knows we're not capable of love. He said cooperate is more realistic. I want you to cooperate like a family. So this is this is what I want most. He said like this. We would have said. And then, um, if we are a family, then you know you can pick your nose, you can pick your friends, but you cannot pick your family. You know your family is your family. You don't divorce your family. You don't throw someone out of the sangha just because he's going through some crazy period. You know we are not crazy or lazy or lusty. We're just different from each other, and we have to tolerate. So Buddha is trying to teach us this kind of very basic human behavior. And this goes together with the high thing of Manjari Bab. So it's almost like, you know, how, how to bridge the gap between where we are, what we need to learn at this stage, and the high thing that he sets for us. But Gurudev himself said that if we set the goal at the beginning, that's the goal, then everything will come. So that goal is the purest thing, and everything is so pure. As soon as we come in contact with Gurudev, our heart becomes so happy and and. Every, all the problems go away. Um, so, who that wants us to, to understand, if he wants us to understand more than how to do the externals of bhakti, the rules and regulations, the 16 rounds and the four regs, he actually wants us to understand the inner moods of how, how a guru worships his <coughs> Our other dev, his worship dev, is how Guru worships his Guru dev and Radha and Krishna. And he wants to give us this more than he is giving us. So in the song of his, his Param Guru dev, his, his Guru dev, our Param Guru dev, every morning we are singing uh, Mangala Shri Guru Gura, Mangala Mura Ati. So there's one line there, one, one verse. Kusumita Sarovare Kamala Irola Mangala Sarabha Bae Bhavana Karola Kusumita Sarovare in this poem of beautiful flowers, this is a poem and each one of us is a beautiful flower. There's a lot of swaying in the center of the poem and that's good there. And the breeze blowing across this poem and bring this, this beautiful fragrance that's Guru Dev's Harikata that's reaching to, to each and every flower and going through the ears into our hearts and purifying us and giving us a taste in hearing and chanting and a taste to do more seva and advance in bhakti. So Guru Dev is giving us all these internal moods, whether we are aware of it or not aware of it, something sticks and by this our life becomes completely successful. So on this occasion I'd like again to Apologize for any offenses and mistakes I'm making and to thank Guru Dev from the bottom of my heart for all his kind kind mercy to unto me. Vancha Kalapata Similarly, I want to offer my humble Dandabhava Pranams 
to all the Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis that you've done these things. You have it here today. I've prayed for so many years that I might have the opportunity to be the Shiva Guru Dev on his Vyasa Puja celebration. And I have prayed for many years to Shiva Dev that I could be with him on his Vyasa Puja and to be able to glorify him to the best of my ability, although I have realized from hearing all the other speakers today that I'm completely unqualified I don't even know where to begin. The glories of Guru are unlimited. Where do you start? We've heard Shri Gurudev tell us again and again, many times, that Guru Nishta is the backbone of Bhakti. And a very simple statement, but a very complex one. I've often thought about it. I often thought, what kind of Guru would it be that would be the backbone of Bhakti? And what Bhakti would it be? Especially in this line of Sri Rupa Goswami, that a Gurudev would be such a guru as to be the backbone of that Bhakti. The line of Rupa Goswami is the line of the maid servants of Srimati Radhika, and so a Gurudev must also be a maid servant of Srimati Radhika to be the backbone of the Bhakti that he would give us. And that Nishta and such a guru means to have the faith, the firm confidence in faith that he can impart that upon those whom he chooses to be merciful to. This is the thing that most astonishes me. Just recently, a couple of years ago, when Sugar and Dave, um, much to my confusion, and uh, he awarded me the renounced order of life, and I begged him, telling him I'm completely unqualified. I have no qualifications, not at all suitable. And he told me that you think you are not qualified, but this is your qualification. And then I realized that it wasn't me. It wasn't that I was qualified or unqualified, certainly not. But Gurudev, it was his desire, it's his to give, his gift, that he wants to be merciful. It's not my qualification. But he is the very embodiment of the mercy of Krishna. And if he decides to be merciful to someone, then that is his prerogative. And to this day I'm trying to follow, to understand what it means to be a disciple, to have that kind of confidence in the Guru, who is so exalted. I, I was a Christian minister for many years before I met the devotees. And we always talk about mercy, mercy, mercy. But I've never seen it before in my life. I used to pray that one day I could be the lotus seat of someone like Lord Jesus Christ. I never expected to come to the lotus feet of someone who's so much greater. Who welcomes everyone in the whole world, which is why he is Jaka Guru. Which is why the seat he is seated upon is a Vyasa sound and not just a cushion or a chair. Like for, for me. Hmm? Shabda Brahma does not come out of my mouth, but from the lotus mouth of Shri Gurudev, certainly. He is able to bring everyone, the whole world, like the Vyasa, the, the earth down in the circle, bringing everything from the circumference into the center to Krishna. He can bring everyone. No one can be is exempt from his mercy if he decides to give. This is the thing that has astonished me the most. And and here I stand as, uh, as evidence of that capacity of his. As everyone is welcome. Everyone, we see so many different kinds of devotees in our Sangha all over the world. And we would never be together. We would never come together like this except for the mercy of Shri Gurudev. To bring us to the center. To bring us to Krishna. To bring us to the lotus feet of Rupa Goswami. To the lotus feet of Rupa Manjari. What an amazing thing. In China recently we've been discussing... Uh, Sri Upadesha Vrita. And Gurudev has been telling that the glory of Srila A.C. Bhagavata Swami Prabhupada was that he had a very wonderful jewel to give, a very precious jewel. And that was the jewel of the service to Rupa Manjari, to come to the lotus feet of Rupa Manjari to serve with that kind of mood. What a rare, astonishing thing. And to offer that to 
everyone whom he chooses, who would be sincere enough to accept it. It is um, far beyond uh, human comprehension. We pray for mercy, but don't expect to get such an exalted thing. A homeless person on the street that asks for mercy and if they get a five dollars, <clears throat> they think that's great. But to be offered the most exalted thing that we could never even imagine. So, and since Shri awarded me this ashram, I've had the immense good fortune of having the service to repeat the many wonderful things that we've heard from your lotus mouth. And now I'm beginning to understand how glorious the message is that you are giving. Because I, you know, I know I am not at all qualified, but I see that if I can just repeat what you have told, that it affects the hearts of hundreds of persons. And many will have criticized you, saying that, oh, how is he giving initiation to so many persons who can't follow this principle or that principle? But without your mercy, no one can follow anything, can ever develop the qualification to become a devotee at all. Those who would criticize you, you had said that they don't understand your mood. And I know this because your mood is greater than anyone, any ordinary mundane person could possibly understand. Only a chair of personality could understand the mood that wants to bring absolutely everyone into the center to love to speak to Radha and Krishna. And I'm so proud that um, <coughs> for some reason that you have allowed us to perform this service to um, be your mouthpiece, to bring as many persons as possible to your love to love to speak. This is all we want. And I pray that you will continue to give you this service, life after life. Agyan Timaram Nasya Yanandira Sadakaya Chakshuru Miritam Yena Tasmai Sri Gurve Maha Vancha Kalpatrupya Sya Kripa Sindhu Vedaja Patita Nam Bhavanebhyo Vaishnavebhyo Namon Maha First of all, <coughs> I offer my own obeisances. Only two times, the lotus feet of my father, friend, everything. <laughs> my good, on Mr. Bhara Paramahamsa Parivaka Chari, I started to see him and talk to him about Sila Narayan Goswami Maharaj. After that, I offer my own obeisances on the two times onto all the gurus in our disciplic line coming from. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and before that, but especially those who come in the line of Shri Goswami. I also offer my own to the Dandavat Pranati and to the Tridandi Swamis, Sanyasis, present who have spoken so wonderfully. It is an amazing day today. Then I offer my humble obeisances, Dandavat Pranati, to all the Vaishnavas, Vaishnavis. Aunties, spiritual aunties, uncles, yeah, Pakistan Prabhu, uncle, and so many wonderful devotees who have come today. Uh, when we came in today, I don't want to take too much time, but I felt that there are so many wonderful speakers who today will certainly not call upon me, so better I don't worry for that, and I will hear today. Then I realized that I want to also say something. <laughs> so, by His Corpus mercy, He is called upon me. But I know that many of you, in your heart, you have a burning desire to stand up and say something. I know that for sure. Madhuvata Prabhu, Achitu Prabhu, Chari Chandrika, Kunda, Lata Devi, so many are qualified to glorify Shri Gurudev. Vijay Prabhu, Padmanam Prabhu, Bala Prabhu, so many are here, Mahaprabhu. I cannot imagine that Gurudev calls upon me, but since he did, I want to say something in order to glorify him. 
it is said by, he told most of all Vaishnavas, yeah, Aradhanaram Sarajesham, he's telling this, what is the best form of worship? There are so many forms of worship. Then I got worship, father, mother worship, country worship, we can become the president of the United States or the president of India, yeah, whatever. We can think that we can worship, but of all types of worship, Lord Mahadev is telling Vishnu Aradhanam Param, the best type of worship is the worship of Lord Vishnu, not of the demigods or anything else. So, then he goes on to tell that Tasmat uh, Paratram Devi, yeah, dear Devi is telling that higher, yeah, than all that, than the worship of Lord Vishnu, Lord Krishna is the worship of the Diyanam Samacharam, that which has a relationship with Lord Krishna. So who is that which has a relationship with Sri Krishna? His Dham, His paraphernalia, His glories, but especially Sri Guru. So if we worship Sri Guru, this is the best type of worship established by Lord Mahadev himself, the best, the topmost of all Vaishnavas. Then moreover, we are hearing about the glories of Sri Rupa Goswami. He is our Aiman Opiyas. Yeah, we are singing Sri Rupa Mandyari Pada. Yeah, very famous and very cherished, deep treasure, this song for all Vaishnavas, all Gaudiya Vaishnavas. What is he telling? Yeah. He has given the heart of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. We've heard that. Yeah. But moreover, he has given us the process of bhajan yeah, in his books, his literatures. And what are the first three angles? Angas. Angles, angas. Oh, Lord, I wish I could stand there and be corrected by all the sannyasis. But so the three first angas of bhakti, what is that? Yeah. Guru Pad Ashraya Tasmat. Krishna Dikshash, Dikshari Shikshanam. Vishram Dena Guru Sheva. You know, all these three first angas, requirements of the process of bhajan are directly related to Sri Guru. First of all, we have to take shelter completely, surrender to Guru, then receive Diksha and Shiksha, relevant Shiksha, in order to perform bhajan. And moreover, that we have to become Vishram Dena Guru Sheva. There is no English translation for this word Vishram Dena. Sripad Maharaj has explained that in his thesis. There is no comparison in the English language. It means that we have to have so much shraddha, faith, surrender, loyalty to Sri Guru, yeah, that we are completely His. What He orders, I will carry out. No doubt in my mind. His order is my sacred, worshipable, ideal, golden life. So Srila Rupa Goswami Pahat is giving this. Three angas we have to follow that take initiation, meaning that we accept His mercy as Sri Pahat Vaishnava so wonderfully explained. I am not qualified. I am actually a very fallen person. Yeah? I don't know how I came here. What is my qualification? None. Yeah? I've read something about bhakti. I had association with devotees, but how I came on the fault, on in the trap of Gurudev, I cannot understand. But he has caught me and they have warned me. If you go to Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Maras, he will make you cry and cry and cry and cry. You will leave everything in this world. When I heard that, the devotees said, I said, then I have to run to him. Because I'm fed up. I don't want to be related, identified with anything in this world because it doesn't give me happiness. Tasmat Guru Prabhatyeta. I want to hear from that personality what is really pure bhakti. So I surrendered, tried to surrender to Sri Guru Dev, and he said, 
I'll take you. Yeah, so he has captured me and I am so fortunate, the happiest person on the planet. Yeah. So the third advice which I wanted to share with all of you. First, the topmost of all Vaishnavas, Mahadev, then Sri Rupa Goswami. Who can be more than Sri Rupa Goswami? Yeah. The evidence that we have to take shelter with that everything, all our miseries and arthas, reactions to sinful activities will be taken care of. If we surrender to Sri Gurudev, that evidence is given by the gopis themselves. Yeah. We've heard about the gopis, we've heard from Sripad Giri Maharaj, how Gurudev is giving us this invitation and how we are here. We have to learn about Shraddha, we have to learn about Anatana Vritti, Vajana Kri, there are so many things before we can really appreciate even a tiny bit of what is Gopi Bhava. But they have said they are the Supreme Authority. They are Krishna's, none different from Krishna. Yeah? They are his most intimate parikars. You know, what have they said? If I would stand there, I would get the support of all the learned the sannyasis. But I try to remember and share this beautiful song of the Gopis. Tava katam ritam tata jivanam kavi viriditam kalmasapanam shravanam angalam shrimadatatam bhuvikrinam so what are they saying here? Who is Bhuri Dajana? Yeah. Who is the greatest, most magnificent personality? The Gopis himself explain. Yeah. Who are giving the glories of Sri Krishna abundantly? Who are repeating his works, his names, spreading it everywhere? Those are the most magnificent personalities. Yeah. They are walking around the universe, this planet. They come with book under their arm. They say, I don't want anything from you. Yeah? They steal my Hari Kata. You don't have the eyes to see Krishna here with your ears. Satam Prasanga Bhavidya Sambhi No. Together, hear the glories of Hari Kata. Gopis are telling here, yeah, what will be the effect if a little Shraddha is there and we hear the glories of Sri Krishna in Raja from the lotus mouth of the most magnificent personality, Sri Guru. Yeah. All the reactions to our sinful activities, all our anarthas, everything will disappear. Yeah. No separate endeavor is necessary. Simply hear, come and hear. Ask Pujipa. Vaishnava has so beautifully explained. He's calling us. That is his mercy. Why he's giving initiation? A mundane person cannot have an, even a like, slightest idea. What is this giving mercy? Yeah. Mercy means it is causeless. You are not qualified, I give it to you. Yeah. Please come again and again to hear Harikata. Yeah. What is this? This is the most magnificent. Yeah. Most beneficial activity that is performed by Sri Guru. So how fortunate we are, we cannot imagine. But we have little interest. This is our problem only. How to cultivate that interest? Yeah? In Patyavali it is said, yeah? what is the qualification? To be able to immerse oneself in the glorious and nectar of Harikata coming from the Lotus mouth of Sri Guru. Yeah? Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavita Matir Kriyatam Yadikata Upilapjate Tatra Loriyam Api Muriyam Ekalam Koti Jama Sukriti Na Labjate. If we meet anyone, a person who is surcharged with Krishna Bhakti Ras, yeah. his mind, intelligence, his everything is surcharged with Krishna Bhakti Ras. Then what stops us from getting that? Yeah. Our own 
lack of greed, eagerness, yeah. the price by which we can obtain that without any hesitation. We should run there and surrender completely yeah. to that personality. Sri Gurudev mentioned that even if a Sadhu, a Rashi Vaishnava, who is always immersed in serving Radha Krishna Yugal in the Eightfold Pastimes, if he doesn't speak, simply being near him, the atoms, yeah, his emanation, it will purify our hearts. So this is Gurudev's Kripa, and he has surrendered. We have heard the examples of our previous in the Puranas, examples of Guru Shisha relationship. But what is our Gurudev doing? Yeah. We have no understanding what he is doing. In his manifested pastimes in this world, in his old age, yeah, he's traveling everywhere around the world. How many obstacles are there? Many of you do not know. Yeah. How Sri Padmanabhara is serving him as the ideal Guru Seva, you don't know, yeah? We should see Gurudev is giving his life for what? To give mercy only to those who don't have the qualification, but by receiving that mercy, they all become qualified, beautiful. Sannyasis are sitting here, beautiful Vaishnavis, Vaishnavas who are serving day and night to assist you the Gurudev to distribute this mercy. Yeah. So the prize to obtain this, there is only one prize. You can perform pious activities for millions and millions and millions and millions of lifetimes, you won't get it. Yeah. Only that lolium, that greed, yeah, to obtain that, that is the only prize. And Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj, our revered Paramakurudev, yeah, who has brought the message of Krishna consciousness to the Western world, undergoing great difficulty. Nobody knew anything about Krishna Bhakti. He picked them up, distributed causeless mercy and gave them by distributing these priceless books yeah, everywhere, making devotees. That is our great fortune that we have come in contact yeah, with such a great personality. Shri Gurudev doing exactly the same, going everywhere, tolerating great physical difficulties. Yeah? 88 years old now in his physical body. Yeah? How he is completely dedicated, giving his life for the mission of his Guru Maharaj, Sri Tetani Mahaprabhu Sri Rupa Goswami. So if we have a little understanding of his greatness yeah? and a little desire to receive his mercy, then keep running after him. They're coming from Montreal, everywhere, flying all over the world to come and receive the mercy. How fortunate we are to be here today. How fortunate is everybody who is watching this wonderful festival. Yeah. So I want to conclude that I hope and pray that Shri Gurudev always keep me in his trap and make me receive more and more mercy so that one day I will have that Eagerness, which is required to obtain Bhakti Rasa, Krishna Bhakti Rasa. Vancha Kalpa Prabhupada Sahaja. You have heard all the voice now. They spoke very highly and glorify the Guru Tattva of theirs. Today, today time is over more than 7.30. I wanted to speak something, but tomorrow I will be speaking. So, in brief you should know the backbone, Guru Bhakti, Guru Nishtha is the backbone of Though in Vedati has been written Upanishad, Jasya Deve Parabhakti Jata Deve Tata Guru, it has been written. As in Gurudev Bhakti, 
Parabhakti, Krishna Parabhakti. You should do Parabhakti to Gurudev. What you heard from Shankarji? Aradhananam Vishnu Aradhanam Param Tasmat Paratalam Devi Tadiyanam Arshan. Yeah, it has been told more than Krishna himself. Because Krishna has sold totally in the hands of his devotees. He is not Svatantra. Independent. He is dependent to Krishna. Krishna mercy is dependent to Bhakta. Mercy. So we should know the Gloria. I wanted to tell you Upamannu Arni Upakhya by Guru Bhakti, Guru Dev told, oh, keep his hand off. And just all Vedas and Upanishads and everything was eliminated in their heart. In this way you heard also the Katha of Ekalabhya. But he was demon. He was against Arjun. He wanted to kill Arjun. And in the end what became? Krishna killed him by nature. So he was not Guru Bhakta. Only to kill Arjun, he wanted to learn archery. And he did so. So he was not Guru Bhakti. But I have heard that in his school, so many gurus have named his disciple Ekalabhya. Because they have no idea of her. We see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself, Krishna. He came in this world. He went to prayer and taught all bhakti, bhakti ras, everything to Krishna. Then he came back to Kashi and he taught everything beginning from end Bhakti Tattva to Sanatan Goswami. He taught everything, all Brahma Sutra to Sarbham Bhattacharya and he went to South and he told everything inspired in the heart of Raya Ramananda. And thus all things are coming to us through Guru Parampara, through Rupa Goswami. Why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, what he did, everything you will have in Rupa Goswami. So Rupa Goswami is also Guru, who is bowed down to him. Gaur Premanande Mahamantra